What's up guys? What's going on? We are here at our first Cracker Barrel parking lot stay. That's what I'm talking about guys. It's the only one in St. Pete. We're going to boondock it here at the Cracker Barrel. There she is sitting beautiful right under a tree. They said just don't just don't bring out your uh, awning and just don't bring out your chairs, but you can stay, you know what I mean? I said, okay, I'll do it. The Cracker Barrel is over there, right over there somewhere, okay? And then there's the hotel. So it's pretty cool, it's off, it's off from the main road. So that's good, that's awesome. We found ourselves a good little spot. Last night we boondocked um, over by the trap. There's a parking spot over there that we pulled into. Guys, I'm most likely going to start um, documenting uh, places where we go, where we feel in the St. Pete area and have called and made sure that it's safe to park overnight. I'm going to do that and I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, bring it to you guys. So if you guys are ever in this area I might just do it the whole state of Florida. Going to locations, staying the night, and making sure that it is safe to stay and and, and document it for you guys. So you guys, they're, they're uh, over here blow, blowing. Uh, they even do lawn, and they even blow the driveway for you. Hashtag driveway, baby. So yeah, so everybody here, they even have cars here, guys. It's it's disappoint it's very disappointing to see people sleeping in their cars because of you know it's it's getting rough man it's getting rough luckily that we were able to get a you know trailer but I'll tell you you know there's good people in this world and I'm going to find them I'm going to find them I'll tell you look I oh, okay there's two people I was about to say Damn, I just moved from over there to get away from the loud noise. Now I hear it over here. I'm like, shoot, you following me? <laughs> Anyhow. So yeah, guys, so the Cracker Barrel is there. Okay. Cracker Barrel's there. Parking over here. So that's what I feel like doing. I'm going to go ahead, give you guys information on places to park that is safe and cheap. Hardly anything out of pocket. All you would have to have is boondocking material, okay? If you can boondock with some solar and and some battery fans and things like that, I know in the summer it's going to be a little hot, or I'm not going to say a little hot, it's going to be hella hot here in Florida. So that being said, it might be a little bit more harder to boondock here in Florida because of the fact of it's going to be hot so that saying it just depends on how it all works because if it's hot this thing gets to about 90 degrees inside so we would have to have the AC on so luckily we have a generator but it is a little too loud so I will be also documenting that where can we run the generator how long we can run the generator things like that um, places where we have stayed that we can run a generator and not have a problem doing so so that being said thanks so much for watching see you guys on more of these videos god bless you guys all right, Nick is doing a wonderful job. She is doing an amazing job. This thing, I'll tell you, we are not professionals at this, guys, at all. Um, but we sure enough did a wonderful job. Nikki did it, but we're having a problem right here on the peace sign and then right there. But you know what? Oh, well. It's coming out and it's looking good and that's all what matters. They can read the White Cost Adventures. 
they can see our mugs because that's what Nick said. Make no sure no my face is no wrinkles on it. No nothing on it, okay. So it's getting it. We're last little bit, last stretch. Yeah, see it's crinkled. Yeah, it's crinkled. Yeah, um, when you guys want to do a big sticker like this, do not get it cut out. Um, and if you do get it cut out, make sure you get a professional to do it. We thought we could do it. I mean, it is pretty good, but we want, and Nick wants, excelente, and we just can't pull it off. <laughs> but, hey, good job, good job. It's okay. It's okay, Nick. It's okay. Just bring her in there. Do the last little bit. Do the last little bit. Do the last little bit. Yep. Yeah. It's all good though. Way to go, Nick. So Nick is killing it, man. She is doing it. We got the we got the uh, ladder out. I'll tell you, if it wasn't for Nick on this one right here, this thing would have been ripped up, thrown away, and and had to rebuy it again because I almost lost it because I was like, dude, I paid hundred and twenty five dollars for this. And I can't even put a darn sticker on my trailer. But Nick did it. Saved the day. Came in. Saved the day. It is looking wonderful. Don't forget, the guy, don't forget, guys. Hit that like. Hit that subscribe. Comment at the bottom. Much love to more and better adventures to come. God bless you guys. Alrighty then. Look at this, guys. We have got our first rainstorm. And it won't be our last either. We are in the camper. This is our first rainstorm in the camper. Let's see if this thing is waterproof. Haha. <laughs> waterproof. Yeah, boy. Fun, fun, fun. Rainstorm. Time to go singing in the rain, singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Y'all have a blessed day, singing in the rain, singing in the rain. Look at this, guys. Just came up with the best thing. Got the jugs for the water. We are boondocking out here. You know what I mean? And I came up with, instead of holding the tube, you got it coming out into a funnel and you just hold it and you fill it up fill those up remote you can go out fill them up and then come over here stand fill it up and it goes into your tank simple all right guys so we're coming into the crackle barrel parking lot and this place is slam pool looks like an rv park looks like an rv park actually it does look a lot like the one we stayed at yeah look at this this is awesome that's so cool so cool all campered out guys and then there's our camper in the background we're gonna go ahead and park right here and there's our well, you might as well park over here because nobody's going to park there. You don't think so? No. No. I would just park right here next to the truck in case a van or something. Yeah. Because nobody has parked here. All right. And then all the... And then we got there. a boat. And then more campers down there. Man, it's just so packed. Like it's an RV park. And they all look out for every single one of us. 